Hello, hello again. Uh, this is yet another demo of my seven-day roguelike space shooter. Oh my goodness, madness thing. So uh, the the big things to show today are, I, I, I believe I posted screenshots of this. So I I think I mentioned this before, but you know, I, I feel like a space shooter real time, like immediately there are going to be people who are just like, no, that can't possibly be roguelike. Uh, and, I, and, I, and I could argue a little against that, but I couldn't argue a lot. So I'm trying to put in as many little nods to to some of the big uh, slash traditional sorts of roguelikes. And one of the things that came up is someone commented on one of my videos uh, and, and mentioned his game. I forget what his name was or anything about him. Man, I should look that up before the video, but that's fine. Um, but uh, he, he was like, yeah, I made a game kind of like yours for a... Um, I forget what it was. It was like a, 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 a cyberpunk roguelike thing maybe or something I, I don't know so I played his game and he had a stat build sort of thing character creation screen and I was like character creation is a big part of, of roguelikes I gotta do this my voice just did something crazy there uh, and and I didn't want like I wasn't gonna go point by but I immediately thought of the stories and I thought it'd be hilarious if we had these randomly generated stories so so here one is and it's not shown anywhere on the screen and I'll probably just leave it an undocumented thing but if you press tab or the left and right buttons on your on your uh, gamepad, then you'll get a, a new random story, uh, and you can see there aren't necessarily a whole lot. You know things like the pirate name is random, and and the color, which which you can see changes the background here. Uh, so let's go ahead and and I'll name it. It's red, so I'll call it Cherry. No, that's a lame name. Uh, let's get a different color. Orange. Very well. I shall call it Carrot, because that is not a lame name. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it right now, but there's some music. I had a lot of trouble getting Mono Game, which is the library I'm using. It's kind of a drop-in replacement for XNA since Microsoft has abandoned XNA. Uh, anyway, it's horrible with sound, and it's a known issue. It like has to be a wave, and it won't it won't loop, even though it has like a is repeating flag, and you set it to true, and it's like no. And and I looked on the internet, and it's just a known issue. So I might leave out the music because mostly because waves are horrible and big. Uh, but but anyway, I don't know if you can hear it here. Let me turn it down because while it, it, it gets a little, this music gets a little cooler. Anyway, um, so let's go ahead and, and play, and I'll show off some of the some of the additional stuff. So first of all, instructions telling you how to play because I handed this to a couple people and realized oh there aren't instructions. Uh, so that's kind of a, a a big thing, and you know you can move around while it shows the instructions. So you can try them out. Uh, the second big thing is the levels are slightly more interesting. We have enemies like those dudes there who flew in and then shot and flew out because they're asses. And we have some, <laughs> some more guys like that here. Um, there's a couple other little varieties. So, oh my god. So one thing is the wave size, as you can already see, varies for, for those dudes that come in a little uh, flock shape, I've called it. Uh, it needs to be... The, the maximum size needs to vary based on the, the depth into the dungeon, if you want to say that, or, you know, the level number here. Uh, we also have, so instead of, um, ooh, so instead of the triangle shapes, uh, we can have those little line shapes, and they do a similar thing of running away. Uh, there are varieties of the wave dudes that come at you, although, who cares? Uh, that's coding details. Anyway. So the levels now have more things. It's got ships that actually do stuff like you expect. To, God, you keep shooting me. <laughs> they, they do things like you expect ships to do, uh, in in you know these sorts of oh my God games. I don't know why I'm trying to dodge because I still haven't implemented player death. So you might notice my hull is now completely empty. Uh, the so I didn't 100% know what I wanted to do about look at all those stupid bullets. Uh, the weapons for these guys I could have. You can I don't know if you can. If you if you notice on on you know the bullets go so quick, but all their bullets are all a little bit different. Like that one there, the, the second one, the middle one just then uh, was a, was a circle, and the other ones are lines, uh, and that's not supposed to happen. I, I've made a different random generating thing for enemy weapons because I don't want them to shoot as fast as yours. Like at first I tried just giving them the same weapons as players, and your gun can shoot really fast, uh, and that's not so bad because you know the odds are against you. you've got a bajillion enemies to your one. Uh, so giving the enemies those same guns is really bad because there are a bajillion of them to one of you. So I had to make a different method for generating uh, weapons for, for monsters or, or enemies. Uh, so a anyway, um, that was just another little detail. Let's see if I can get anything. Oh, no, I wanted to equip weapons. So I kind of wanted to show off just how cool it looks when you've got extra weapons equipped. Uh, you can also equip uh, these these armors, and you can see they still don't have descriptions, neither do the shields. 
Uh, but there's also sound effects for these, so right now it'll make a little bah -bah noise that you probably can't hear because I turned down the volume. Uh, because you cannot equip things during, during, uh, you know, level as it says. Uh, so I'm trying to throw in some more sound effects. Got the UI, you know, a little polished. I, I think audio feedback is really useful. And I really want firing noises. I don't have those in yet, but that should be easy to find on free sound. Uh, but yeah, so the main thing is the levels are now a little more complicated. Something I'm not going to show is that I tested levels going in reverse and fixed a bunch of problems with that. So when you get to the when you finish the ninth level, the tenth level. Yeah, it's 0 through 9. When you finish the 10th level, you'll have to do it again in reverse, and then go all the way back, uh, you know, through all the levels in reverse. Uh, that That's working now. It was having some issues before. Uh, there, there is still one issue that um, at the end of the level, when it says level complete, you go flying off to the right, you still go flying off to the right, but you're facing the other direction, so it, 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 it it's bad. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, that's a, a little detail to fix. Um, I really didn't have as much time to work today as I wanted. I'm really kind of freaking out about the time um, because I've got friends coming over Saturday from like two hours north of here I, I won't have any time to work on it Saturday basically unless they're really nice and I'm really a dick and tell them so I know you drove two hours and we're gonna do all the stuff but can I just work on this game so I really only got one day and I really wish I had two but I don't uh, so I'm gonna focus on making sure the game can be beaten I also didn't get to work on it as much today as I mentioned uh, and I worry that the levels aren't going to be that 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 hot. Like they're they're going to be kind of boring. A few enemies going to come at you. The difficulty should ramp up. Will it be balanced? I don't know. Uh, that's another concern. But uh, I'm going to have a complete game, and I'm happy with the UI. You know, I gave the UI a lot of attention, and it shows both in the fact that I think the UI is is, is pretty nice, uh, and also that the gameplay isn't as much there as it could be. Um, so that's pretty good. I think this is going to be the last video. I won't bother to post another video. The next thing I'm going to post is the download. Uh, and I've had a couple of friends test it and, and found a couple issues with gameplay. One of them I don't know how to fix. Like for one person, every time she tabs out, it crashes. But only if she does it from the map. I don't know why. Uh, and, and also some people have to install the OpenAL uh, DLL. There, there's like an installer that looks like it's from the 90s. I don't know why. Um, I'll try and find out if I can find a better way to bundle that. Cause I, I just feel like I don't want to ask people to. It's gonna look, it's gonna look suspicious, right? From like, why don't you run this installer to install drivers? Like a game shouldn't require that. Uh, so I'll, I'll see if I can work around that. I might be violating some sort of license though to do that. So maybe I just can't. Uh, but but the good news is for some people it's not required to install. Uh, the same person who was having it crash on her when she tabbed out also didn't need to install that. So. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to be done rambling, I'm going to go to bed, <laughs> and uh, I'll try and get as much done tomorrow as I can, and then I'm going to post this thing. Uh, thanks again for watching, and bye-bye.